so tell us a little bit about you. How long have you been in this seat for? Well, the assembly was established in the year 2000 and between 2000 and 2016, um, it remained uh, with a conservative assembly member. Um, there were two during that period of time. They both served for eight years. Um, and then in 2016, um, I won. So I've been there since uh, May 2016. And um, about a few, actually a couple of weeks after I was elected, um, we do the allocations to the committees and we agree them on a cross party basis. Um, and my colleagues all agreed that I should be the chair of the Environment Committee, which I did for the first two years. And now I'm the deputy chair. And obviously we've had this extra year. Um, so that's coming up for three years. Sure. And in your tenure so far as Wandsworth and Merton Rep, what has been your proudest moment so far? Uh, well, I think I went in and I was very, very keen for the mayor to really start to take action around the whole issue of air quality and toxic air. Uh, and one of the reasons why I was particularly alive to that, I mean, I was working on environmental sustainability very much um, professionally, but also as a sort of personal passion. And, I, you know, climate emergency, I think, is a big problem and issue. But in Wandsworth, we had Putney High Street. And along with Brixton Road and Oxford Street, the three of them had a sort of unholy competition every year to see which one could break the law first in terms of illegal air quality. Putney High Street was quite frequently uh, the one that got over the line first. I think 40% of the time it was, you know, poor air quality by, it was about, about the first or second of January. So when I say it was breaking the law and it was doing it faster than the other two filthiest roads in London, we're talking about incredibly quickly at the beginning of every year. And so one of the pledges from Sadiq was to, uh, as the mayor, was to roll out um, a lot of action on air quality. And um, he launched, uh, he, he pledged to introduce low emission bus zones and he launched the first one in Putney High Street. Um, and all the buses that go up and down Putney High Street now go up the hill and go over the bridge are all low emission buses and Putney High Street no longer wins that competition on the 2nd or 3rd of January. It, uh, in fact, the year when the, the buses were launched, the following year, I don't think it actually breached the air quality um, legal limits until April. Conversely, if you're, if you're willing to say here and now, what do you think your biggest failure, or if you want to phrase it in a different way, your biggest learning moment so far has been in the seat? Yeah, I mean, I would say that probably it's also around air quality and getting the message out to people to really understand why we need to be tackling this. I mean, the recent court, uh, coroner's case where they decided that um, on the um, the designation of death, the, the death certificate, um, air poor air quality could be included for that poor little girl who started having the asthma attacks and eventually died, and she was so young. Ella Kissy Deborah. Um, and, but, you know, there are still an awful lot of people who we haven't got the message across to, and I have to take some responsibility for that as the chair and then the deputy chair of the Environment Committee um, to make them really understand that we need to be less wedded to using um, vehicles that are pumping out filth into the air that are impacting on us as grown ups, but also stunting the lungs of small children and it's not as though once you take them out of that environment the lungs grow back because they don't clean and we saw a lot of that actually during the lockdown in March April and May and people suddenly heard the birds and the air was clean and all these things. Why should you know when it comes to May the 6th and people go into the voting booths and, and, and that why should they vote for you? Uh, well, because I still feel that there's much to do on the issue of air quality. Um, there's still so many more environmental um, issues that I want to address, which is why also my other proud thing was um, I did a report on plastic water bottles and persuaded Sadiq, and it wasn't even in the original manifesto for 2016, um, to introduce a network of water fountains. And, you know, the amount of plastic that gets wasted on these single use bottles. And of course it's created using fossil fuels. So there's a huge agenda there of things that we need to step up and, and change. Um, that, and also I think social housing, which was my background was working 
working in environments in in social housing in housing associations so i'm also very committed to seeing things go forward on the housing front and because i'm also on the fire committee i have tied together the issues around cladding um, that are affecting so many people across what Merton and Wandsworth who keep writing to me about the situation they can't get remortgaged um, they can't sell they can't you know they're in desperate circumstances what's one little fact about you that most voters wouldn't know about you think they should oh, I mean I, I know you've got I know you've got some wonderful <laughs> dogs but <laughs> that, that would be my, my leaning towards it but obviously well, up to you <laughs> I'm not sure how much of a secret the dogs are anymore because they managed them and they haven't, um, you know, tried to insert themselves into this discussion. But, um, working from home, of course, for many of us has proved to be an interesting experience and, and the dogs do sometimes decide that they uh, want to, to join in. So Cavalier, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Um, but the other thing, which is not so much of a secret, but um, I, I don't know whether it's nice for people to know, but my dad used to take me to the football um, when I was a child and he was a huge Tottenham Hotspur football club fan. So um, I have to confess to being an enormous Spurs fan. So come on you Spurs is also chanted as, as much as I can say, come on to the Spaniels to come out for a walk. <laughs> I feel like you'll have alienated as many people as you'll have brought over there. <laughs> <laughs> Online at riversideradio.com On your smart speaker Play Riverside Radio And now on DAB Digital Radio